Hey guys, it's Pretty on Panda, and today I'm doing the I Heart Summer tag. Because I Heart Summer. I mean, a uh, duh. I mean, I love summer. Like, who doesn't love summer? Okay. Oh, uh, I know a lot of people don't that don't like the summer. Let me stop. But I absolutely love the summertime. And it's just kind of hot in my room right now. I kind of have the fan off so that you guys can still hear me because I don't speak very loud. So if you see me sweating a little bit, just know that it's hot. All right, just know it's kind of hot in here. So... Um, this is pretty much a series of 12 questions, and I got this from Miss Glamorazzi or Ingrid, who's really awesome and really sweet, and you guys probably know her and probably don't know who I am, and that's totally okay. So we're going to start this off now. So question number one, what is your um, favorite summer bronzer? So, um, I'm black. <laughs> so I mean my bronzer isn't quite a contouring bronzer it's more of a highlighting bronzer and I'm wearing it today and it is max mineralized skin finish in gold deposit and it looks like this and I've had this since high school I've had this like four years and I have not I've hardly made a dent in it like I mean you can't really tell that I've had it for years but I've had this since like senior year of high school so that's a good two years now at least and I just really like it because I like highlighting and I just feel like highlights just really add that extra dimension to my skin and just make me look more glowy, which is really, really nice. So yeah, I love that. Two, you're relaxing in a hammock on a tropical island. What are you sipping on? Sorry, I'm reading this off my MacBook. Uh, let's see. I really love mango smoothies, so I'm probably sipping on a mango smoothie or like a version of strawberry daiquiri. I'm 20, so it's not legal for me to drink just yet, so that's why I'm sticking to the version. <laughs> version. So yeah, those two are my favorites. Not that I really ever have them often, but those are my favorites. Next, um, favorite summer lip product. Ooh, that's a tough one because I love lip products. I mean, I am a lip product junky but I have to say that hats off go to Ooh, this is hard this is actually harder than I thought I didn't actually think this one through um I really love bright just bright lip colors like the one I'm wearing right now is um um Rimmel Apocalypse and I should have that video up soon if it's not up already and this is in Big Bang and I just really really love my really bright lip colors I like bright lip colors bright reds bright pinks even bright oranges I have this really insane bright orange and I love it I love all those colors so next um boot pool or beach um that's a hard one see I like the beach for the idea of just like lounging on the sand but I don't like getting sand in all of my things so it sucks because I mean I try to make it a point to go to the beach at least once every summer and then you kind of end up spending the rest of the summer trying to get the sand out of everything you brought that day which kind of sucks but I also can't swim so I don't really try to run in the ocean all excited or anything because I don't I wouldn't know what to do if like a rip current happened god forbid and god forbid oh god forbid but yeah so it really depends on my mood I try to make it to the beach at least once a summer just to like lounge and hang out with friends and in the pool I don't necessarily go to the pool often over the summer just because I don't swim so like if my friend's having a pool party I'll just go and I'll hang out in the pool and stuff because it's usually not too deep but I can go either way on that so number five is summer equals crazy hair what is your must-have styling product hair gel hair gel hair gel hair gel I recently got into using hair gel for my twists out I am due a wash soon so like wash my wash day is coming up so like my twists aren't really all there and it's been especially humid but yeah I pretty much use my eco styler gel all the time now I love it so much it just like gives that extra amount of hold so and doesn't dry out my hair which is really really awesome so gel definitely hair gel um sunbathing or fake tan I'm black <laughs> I don't exactly try to get any darker so I'm just gonna skip over that question uh, I naturally get a little darker in the summer um, because I generally spend more time outside and even though you, you don't use SPF and everything but you still get a little darker so 
I get a little darker, so I guess sunbathing. <laughs> um, number seven, favorite summer nail polish. Oh my goodness, so I don't really like painting my nails, but this one by Essie and Come Here is just incredible. I have, I'm wearing this in my birthday video where I'm talking about the Riri Woo lipstick, if you want to check it out on my nails. And I've probably worn this in another video, but I absolutely love this nail polish. It's just so pretty and just makes my skin tone look a lot richer on my fingernails, and I am probably going to put this on my toes when I actually go and paint my toes. Yeah, I haven't been wearing flip-flops out, so don't mind me. <laughs> Next, um, any summer traditions? So, I don't have any true set in stone summer traditions like it's not like I go to the same spot every year or I do the same thing on the same day every year but I mean my birthday is in the summer it's like right at the beginning of the summer on June 24th it just passed so don't worry about it but um I try to make it a point to do something on my birthday every year um that's one of my main traditions and besides that like a beach a beach day I really try to at least have one beach day and I guess a recent tradition has been to attend some of the morning summer concerts that the Today Show has which is really really fun like when you go with friends and you're just like camping out and just getting each other excited about seeing the band even though it's like a really super short concert it's just really really fun so I love that a lot um favorite summer scent so this summer actually these are two totally new scents from like any other summers before um before i used to use mango mandarin by bath and body works which is really awesome but they don't carry it anymore which sucks and i've been like using the same bottle for years because like i don't get through body spray ever so i've been mixing a fragrance and i think it's kind of just become very me so there is the pink sweet and flirty um, body mist, which is like the lilac -y one, and it's just really pretty. Um, it let's see, the scent description is sugarberry and pink grapefruit, and I just really like citrusy smells, and this is kind of citrusy but not quite. So I really really love it. Next is. This is a birthday present from my mom. Um, this is Adam Levine's perfume for women. I know it's super sleek bottle, super boring too, but whatever. I just really liked it. I promise it's not just about his name. I can't even describe this for you. Honestly, it's like a heavier scent. It's a scent that I don't normally go for. I'll go with that. I usually like really fruity, bouncy scents, and this isn't fruity at all. This is maybe woody, musky, but I really, really like it, and I don't know why. And I feel like these two together just kind of just create a very me scent, so I'll probably put this on my arms and just like spray this all around, and then I just kind of end up having my own scent for the summer, and I've just been really liking that combination. Next, um, favorite barbecue food. I love ribs. Like, don't even get me started. I just absolutely love ribs. If I'm at a barbecue, I'm looking for the ribs and, like, the kebabs, but I absolutely love ribs. Ribs are, like, the top of my list of things to look for at a barbecue. If I go to a barbecue and there aren't ribs, I'm very upset. I mean, unless it's one of my cousins that makes, like, really awesome hamburgers. Well, cheeseburgers have a cheese on them, but so delicious. I love ribs. That is all. <laughs> What's your favorite summer proof product? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I guess it has to be this new one. Uh, my friend just recently got it for me, and it's kind of a combination of two because it's what I'm wearing today, which unfortunately isn't holding up in the heat in my room. So, um, last year I purchased the Sephora Mattifying Foundation, and they changed the packaging on this a little bit. I thought they got rid of it, but they got rid of this packaging. I don't know if they reformulated it, but this is in Deep 56 Mahogany, and I think the numbers are the same as well. Like, I mean, when I was checking the other day, it seemed the same, and I'm wearing this today, actually, as foundation. I'm not, like, wearing any liquid foundation. I don't really know if you can tell or not, but if you guys like this look, I'll do a tutorial on how I did this. And yeah, this is pretty much keeps me very matte. I like to wear it sometimes in the winter, like over my foundation, like if I feel like I'm having an especially oily day. And in combination with this new primer that I'm that I got for my birthday from my friend Will. Thank you, Will. And I really just like really love this. And this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And even though like my forehead and like the sides of my nose keep like breaking out in a sweat and like Sorry to look a little greasy. You guys know I've been struggling with my nose looking especially greasy like since I started YouTube if you were around that long. Or if you go back to my old videos you definitely see nothing that makes my nose matte. This 
you can wear this under your foundation over your foundation and it will keep you matte all day long well it'll keep you matte most of the day and then over the through the day you can touch up and put this over your foundation which is awesome so pretty much I end up blotting off like oil and then like throwing this on top and smoothing it on and it looks great and I love it the final question any summer vacation plans this year no plans tell us about your dream summer trip so I don't have any vacation plans this summer unfortunately because I'm at school taking classes just to make sure that I finish my degree right on time or anything. Um, so no vacation plans but what I really want to do, like my dream vacation is to go somewhere that's like really tropical like Cabo or um, Punta Cana or like Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico or Mexico and like one of the resort areas or Cancun, oh my goodness, I would just love to go away to like one of those places. Like when I graduate from college, I'm just like, look, I'm looking forward to that because I'm going to treat myself that year to a trip, which will be really awesome. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, let's see, my anniversary on my hair growth is coming up on Sunday the 14th, so look out that day because I will do a flexi rod, I'll do a flexi, a flexi rod set on my hair so I can show you guys the true length and I'll just kind of talk about some products that I've been using and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching and until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. Bye!